The Bulls take the tip off and will set up the offense. To Heinrich. Dang. Six seconds to shoot. Heinrich scores the opening field goal. That's the way to manufacture your shot against the taller defender. Solid effort. Dishes it to Jamison. And now our sideline reporter, Cheryl Miller, has some information for us. Let's check in with the Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, just before the game, I spoke with Eddie Jordan, coach at the Wizards. I asked them what they needed to do to improve their performance from the last game. He said, we had real problems knocking down our shots. We've got to attack the basket and try to get things started on the inside before we look for our outside shots. Guys? Well, that's how Rick Barry did it. He'd start the game penetrating and then shoot jumpers once he'd warmed up. Sounds like a good game plan. Gets them both. Haywood inbounds the ball. 104 left in the first. Arenas takes it up. Great finish in traffic. Arenas is such an incandescent score. He puts up points in a hurry. Left wing. Here's Gordon. It bounces out of bounds after the shot. Both teams will make substitutions. Butler. It falls short. Rose lays it in with the finger roll. No one really contested him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for him. Hacks, and he'll go to the line for a couple. He knocks down the first one. He's off on the second. Yo, watch it. Right there. Jameson is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the line. And he makes the first one. Gets them both. Watch inbounds the ball. Someone get him. Dishes to Stevenson. Let's go with a three. Drops. <laughs> We've reached the end of the first, and both teams going back and forth. It's knotted up at eight. Kevin, their offense has been flowing. All right, the second quarter should begin momentarily. Watch inbounds it to start the second quarter. Here's Arenas. Hayward is on it. You've got to keep them off the glass. Somebody should have boxed him out. Offline. Leads him with the bounce pass. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was a Butler. Arenas gets the offensive rebound. Snares the offensive rebound and sends it home. Rose shoots it up, hits the jumper. Rose is brilliant with the mid-range jumper, especially when he has that kind of daylight. He wasn't thinking at all on that pass. That's what you call bad decision making. Coast to coast bucket by Rose. 103 left in the second. With the score being so close, there's little margin for error by either team. It's blocked. Sweet rebound by the seven-year veteran out of Kansas. Got a piece of that shot, and that's always a great lift for the defense. Here's Hughes. Lays it right in. Haywood inbounds the ball. Pure man-to-man -man on D. Outside, outside. Butler can't get it to fall from downtown. 
The Bulls on a bit of a roll here. The layup banked in by Hughes. As you can see, the bench has been a real factor so far, Clark. The second unit has really come up huge and been a factor in this game, Kevin. The coach loves it, and the starters are getting some well-deserved rest because of it. What a shot! Took the hit and was still able to maintain control to get it down. And both teams will make some substitutions. Good for the three-point play. The D draped all over him. From just inside the arc, nails the buzzer beater. Thomas inbounds the ball. And that concludes the first half. The score, 18 to 15. This has been a fast-paced game, Kevin. Yeah, both teams are lighting up. Well, the second half will begin in just a few moments. Jameson inbounds it to start the second half. The dish to Haywood releases. Jameson gets the board inside. Way to stand tall on that one. If you want to play tough D, you never back down. Time for the Gatorade around the cooler update. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? Well, as he came out of the Bulls locker room, I spoke with Coach Vinny Del Negro. He told me although they have the lead, he thinks they can do better. He mentioned that he hopes his team picks up their energy for the second half. And if they can't, they could be in trouble. Sounds like he's not too comfortable with his team's performance. Guys? All right. They've been making outstanding plays on both ends. And they're starting to pull away here. Collected inside by Dang. With him, it's often all or nothing. One game he can't miss, the next game he can't buy a buck. Lead pass inside. Noah tries to drop it in, but it won't go. That was a perfect chance to finish on the break, and he let it slip away. Stevenson got a terrific look at that one, and you could tell from the moment it left his finger that it was going in. Here's Gordon. Gordon is on it. You have to block this guy out, Kevin. He's just too active on the boards to be left alone. Arenas. No luck on the three-point attempt. Arenas wants the shot from three-point land, but that time it just didn't work out. To Heinrich. Dang. Pulls up from the elbow. Jameson snatches the rebound. Normally he sinks that shot. His mid-range game is excellent. He just misfired that time. Drilled in by Arenas. The Bulls just owning the inside right now, Clark. Can they be stopped? So far, they can't be. They just keep pounding it inside and getting what they want when they want it. If they continue to do that and don't settle for outside shots, they'll be fine. Haywood inbounds the ball. Arenas launches it. Dang holds it in, and that's his third rebound of the contest. Both teams continue to fill it up as we conclude the third. The score, 26 to 21. All right, the fourth quarter should begin momentarily. Dang inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. Passes it to Heinrich. Six seconds to shoot. Here's Rose. Flips it in for two. When he gets it going like this, you got to double team. That's your only hope. Arenas. Off the mark from three. Rose tosses it up court. Dan goes up. Laid in softly off the glass. Easy look in the paint. The defense got abused there. Here's Arenas. Stayed with it and tipped it in. Haywood had all day to size that one up. Way too easy. 115 left to the fourth. Rhodes with the smooth finger roll. 
Rose is excellent at scoring in traffic. He always finds a way to knock it down. Jameson, easy shot. Count it. Good Inbounds the ball. 58 seconds left to the fourth. Here's Rose. Wraps it in on the way up. Kev, it's all but over now. They're doing whatever they want out there. Arenas. It counts. Boy, there's been no answer for the three-point shot this half. They've dominated from behind the arc. The Bulls have a chance to put this one out of reach. Dan keeps it alive. Offline. Time is getting short now. If they don't get some quick points, game over. Here's Stevenson. Buries it. The Wizards will go for the intentional foul. They still got to foul them a second time to get into the penalty and send them to the strike. The Wizards commit the intentional foul and they'll try to extend the game. That's exactly what they need to do to stretch out this game. Smart foul there. Connects on number two, and that gives him a four-point cushion. The Wizards will take a timeout. Jameson inbounds the ball. Gets it to the fall. Reassists by the 11th year veteran out of North Carolina. The Wizards will foul to stop the clock. Knocks it down. Taking full advantage of the charity stripe here. Stretching that margin to three. Coach Jordan called timeout here and take their last 20-second timeout. They're behind by three. Eight seconds left in the game. Clark, what do you think? You need a three here to tie, but there's still some time left on the clock. If you can get a quick layup for two, I'd take that and then five. Coach Del Negro wants a timeout. Dan inbounds the ball. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. The Bulls control the tip. Less than one minute left. Couldn't keep a handle on. In these close games, you can't afford too many mistakes. Yeah, both teams have ramped it up here in the second half. A critical possession here. Presses on. Who rises to the occasion? Gordon. No good from three-point territory. The Wizards will look to run down the clock. Butler. Buries it. Rose way up court. Gordon. Jameson. That'll be his third rebound of the contest. The D got a little lucky that time. That's a shot he should have made. Heinrich. Swing pass to Rose. Gordon. Hold him. Arenas. Misses the tray. Rose. The Wizards went the distance as they outlast the Bulls, 42 to 37. In recognition of his stellar performance, Arenas is the Jordan Brand player of the game. Yeah, Kevin, by stepping up in the fourth quarter the way he did, he gave his team a strong finish.